One of these? Of course not. This thing is five years old. Now everyone's got one of these. Can you imagine how much genius and focus it took to turn a music player into a handheld computer phone GPS remote control for everything in life in just five years? Seriously, the thousands of people who made this thing had to solve thousands of problems that literally could not have been solved five years ago. That's what people can do when they're motivated to find solutions to problems. But the problems we've been busy solving are not the problems that most need solving. So much focus has gone into faster, cheaper, newer that we've actually lost ground on things like safer, healthier, and more fair. It's as if we're getting better and better at playing the wrong game. And in many ways, this system is a lot like a game, but with very high stakes. Just like a game, our economy was designed by people to get everyone to play by certain rules. And like a game, it comes with instructions telling us what the goal is. Think about the last time you played a new game. Remember? The first thing you did was find out what it means to win, and that guides every decision you make along the way. So naturally, the solutions most people are working on pursue this game's simple goal. And that goal is more. More money being spent, more roads being built, more malls being opened, more stuff. That's what economists call growth. So we take all the money spent on stuff that makes life better, and all the money spent on stuff that makes life worse, and we add it together into one big number called GDP. We're told that a bigger GDP means we're winning. So it's the number that thousands of rules and laws are designed to increase. But there's a big difference between more kids in school or more kids in jail, more windmills or more coal-fired power plants, more super-efficient public trains or more gas wasted in traffic jams. Duh! But in this game of more, they're counted the same. Now, we can't change a game this dumb one rule or one player at a time. The problem is the goal itself. We need solutions that change that. What if we built this game around the goal of better? Better education, better health, better stuff, a better chance to survive on this planet. That's what we all want, right? So shouldn't that be what winning means? Changing the goal of the entire economy is a huge task. Of course, we can't do it all at once. But when we focus on game-changing solutions, we gradually make it possible for a new game to be played. To do that, we have to be able to tell the difference between a game-changing solution or just a new way to play that old game of more. For example, let's look at two solutions to one of the many problems we face today. The scourge of plastic packaging that everyone knows is a disaster for the planet, especially the oceans. And here are two groups of people with very different ideas of solutions to the plastics problem. These guys decide that enough is enough, and they start by launching a citizen campaign to ban the plastic bag in their community. These guys have a different solution. They start a business that gives people gift cards to buy stuff if they recycle their plastic waste. Both of these are happening right now, but only one of them changes the game. The gift card solution does keep some plastic out of landfills and incinerators, but it creates more plastic by encouraging people to buy more stuff. Even worse, it teaches that more consumption is the right reward for being a good citizen, making it even harder to think outside that old game box. The ban the bag solution is harder to achieve, but it's a game changer. Why? Well, by volunteering their time, these citizens are declaring that there's something more important to them than just earning and spending more. To win this campaign, these citizens are gonna have to team up with forward-thinking businesses offering alternatives to throwaway plastic packaging. They're gonna have to build power to fight back against the American Chemistry Council, which lobbies for the companies that make all that plastic junk. And they're going to have to get out and talk to their neighbors and friends, inspiring yet more people to begin to question the old game. This is exactly what's happening in towns and cities all across the world, and they're winning. But can banning a few million plastic bags transform the goal of the game? By itself, no. But in combination with millions of others working on game-changing solutions that they care about, yes. 
Together, these solutions are beginning to turn the tide. As people build power to change the game, their citizen muscles grow. They work to ensure the local solutions they create get copied and scaled up. And when they see these solutions getting blocked by corporations with way too much influence, they team up with other solutionaries to fight for a real democracy by the people for the people. Gift cards will never do that, but thousands of citizen campaigns can. Whenever I'm asked to join in on a solution, I want to know if it's transformational. Will it change the goal? To figure it out, I use the word goal. I want to know that it, G, gives people more power, taking power back from corporations to build democracy. O, opens people's eyes to the truth that once basic needs are met, happiness and well-being don't come from buying more stuff, but from our communities, our health, and a sense of purpose. A, accounts for all the costs it creates, including the toll it takes on people and the planet. In other words, it internalizes costs instead of externalizing them, as most businesses do today. L lessens the enormous wealth gap between those who can't even meet their basic needs and those who consume way more than their fair share. When I see a solution that does all that, or can be redesigned to, I'm in. And they're popping up everywhere. Like the evergreen cooperatives in Cleveland, where worker owners are running green businesses a laundry, a solar company, and a super productive urban farm that are healthy and safe. They provide secure jobs to people that the old game has left behind. We all know we need to get businesses out of our democracy, but cooperatives go even further and bring democracy into the businesses. Sustainable, democratic, and equitable, that's a game changer. Or in Caponori, a town in Italy where local citizens, working with businesses and governments, are not just seeking to manage waste better, but they're questioning the very inevitability of waste. They're promoting solutions to waste, not with expensive techno fixes, but by working together as a community to reclaim compost for the soil, to find reusable substitutes for disposable products, and then to put discarded material to good use. They've already reduced some waste streams by 82% while creating jobs and building social fabric. And how about the new trend of collaborative consumption, formerly known as sharing? <laughs> sharing may sound like the theme of a Barney song, but think about it. It's a huge challenge to the old game. It gets us off the treadmill of more, 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 conserves resources, gives people access to stuff they otherwise couldn't afford, and builds community. What's it look like? Bike share programs in major cities. Online platforms that let us share everything from our cars to our homes to camping gear. In my town, the public library system lends out tools. There's just no reason that every house needs its own power drill, creme brulee torch, scanner, wheelbarrow, bike pump, when we can share. As transformational solutions like these gain traction, we will reach a tipping point if we keep focused on the new goal of better. Without a new goal, all the work we're doing to build a better future will be A, not enough, and B, really hard. Too much genius and focus will continue to go to solving problems like iPhone battery life, while the problems that threaten human life spin out of control. Five years ago, when we made the story of stuff, we started building a community of people who sensed that something was really wrong with this old game. We agreed there was a problem. Now it's time to build the solutions. Solutions that won't just change a few of the rules, but will change the entire game. Want to help? Come on, let's do it.